This is all hypothetical. We are not advocating to trade anybody on the Browns. We just want to have a discussion about what some Browns players would be worth if they hit the open market. Once again, they are not advocating to trade anybody. We're just having a thought discussion. Well, there may be one guy on this list that I'm going to advocate to well, trade. Well, maybe but, individually, but yeah, this but is most not. Most of these guys, no, we don't yeah, want to trade. We're going to start with Miles Garrett. We are not advocating for the no, Browns to trade Miles Garrett. We're just trying to ascertain where we think the value would be if, for whatever reason, they decided to trade these guys. But yes. Exactly. So most just of make these guys, very if clear. not all of them, are guys we don't want the Browns. <laughs> None of these guys are actually on the trade block at this moment, to our knowledge. We are just having a hypothetical discussion yeah. about what their value would be if they hit the open market. So okay. I'll give you guys a player. We could all degree, agree, disagree, but I'll discuss what each player's value would be if they oh, were to hit the open market. You're going to tell us what you think the value is, and then we got to debate nope. what you said. Nope. I'm just going to give you the player, then you gotcha. guys can talk. And, and it's what we think. Yes. What you think? What do you think his value is okay. in a trade? Okay. If that player so was you got to obviously market. factor in. Off the field stuff, which really is only a factor with Deshaun, uh, in terms of the Browns, you got to factor in their contract, their the age, age, yep, injury history, all of that plays a role. Okay, Mike, go ahead. Are we ready? Let's start with Miles Garrett. What would Miles Garrett trade value <laughs> be if he were to hit the open market? Three first round picks. No. Three? I think it's two. I don't think it's three. No. Quarterbacks are only. Three. A, I mean, most quarterbacks don't even get three. Right. Deshaun was three. That was extenuating circumstances. Right. Browns were desperate. He Ricky Williams trade. He need every pick in the draft. Yeah, that, that, <laughs> that, was, that was dumb. No, nah, I think for my, if you're not if y'all going to say we not get two the, first rounds. two first in a second now. Nah. Yeah, beyond the first, I don't know. You know. Oh, you could go get, in terms of. I think you would get two first plus something. You plus would get kicker. you would get other picks. Yeah, a third or third future or fifth picks, or something like that. Third, a yeah, there, there's some extra stuff, yes. but in terms of the key of what you the get, two first price. round picks. Yeah, yes. three is too much. Nobody's giving up three for a, no matter how good he how is. How old is Miles? Twenty eight. It don't matter. He's still kind there's of no <laughs> non quarterback. You're getting more than two first round picks for. I agree with that. We, Khalil Mack that, when he got traded. Got what did uh what Von Miller get traded for to the Rams for? I don't remember. Because they, more than five. they, they was about to offer uh, Carolina like two or three first-round picks for Brian Burns. The Rams traded their second and third-round picks in 2022 to get Von Miller. They didn't even oh, give him a first-round pick. Man, that's not um, Two first-round picks for a defensive lineman is good. Khalil Mack. Great. Got, that's a lot. I'm pretty sure Khalil Mack got two. He did, I think. Like, when he uncommon. went from the Raiders, when he left the Raiders. I yeah, but, he and two. he was in his prime. He was. And he's a great player. Miles yeah. just won DPOA. I hear yeah. you. T- we're saying he get, you get. He getting two for sure. Get At the first. bare minimum, he's and getting two. And we all agree for sure. to get some other things, yes. but not a third first-round pick. The Brown is the. I think the Browns would try to squeeze that for that third one. For probably sure. you probably get two ones, a two and a four. Yeah. What would like you that. get? All right, let me ask you this. Khalil this is, Mack, by the way, just to give you, this is probably the closest comparison. Yeah, and that Khalil was Mack got ago. two first rounders, a third and a sixth. Okay. What else did they get besides Mack? Anything? Mack and a sixth. So and they got two firsts, a third, a third, third and a sixth. So and they essentially right. so swapped the six. Right? Yeah, they just got to the third. Two yeah. and a third. So that's what they get for Miles, I think. Two yeah, that, I mean, that was quite, that was a long time ago. That, that was, was about 10 years uh, ago, right? 2019. That recent? That was that close? No. Yeah. yeah. Khalil Mack was n- – no. Yes. no. Khalil Mack was on the Bears when I was playing in the league, so that, there's no way. Yeah. That, go, that got to be like 8, 17, or 18. What well, happened in 18, they got – oh, it happened in 18, they got a 19 and 20 first round right. pick. The trade happened 18. in 18. The trade was 18. Okay, I'm about to ago. say I was – because I, I remember – I think that's about right. Two I remember watching third. Khalil Mack destroy the Cardinals when we was about to play him, but I was like, this man got By triple way, team and quick, made the sack I, steal. Obviously, <laughs> this would never happen. But let's say you were in a scenario where the Chiefs had to trade Patrick Mahomes. Okay? <laughs> that's not going to happen. How many first-round picks would, he, would they end up giving up? Like, would you, Four. If you're the Brown, would you give up 10 first-round picks? <laughs> no. I no, would. No. I would give up 10 first-round no, picks for Patrick Mahomes. No. But you wouldn't? What the, for what, Patrick Mahomes? How much did we give up for Deshaun? Three. Three. Oh, they give him four at the minimum. Four. I mean, six or seven is probably. <laughs> That's four. probably. You four. wouldn't give up ten. Hey, hey the four. I would give up ten. No. <laughs> four. Four or five. Five. Can you even? Selling. Can you even do that? Yes. Yeah. Exactly. There's, there's, no the NBA. there's no step. Oh, this, oh. Well, speaking of quarterbacks, <laughs> if they do that. They may have a Haslam rule. <laughs> <If they do. laughs> right. Speaking of quarterbacks, if the value for Patrick Mahomes is four to ten, anywhere in that range, first round picks. Yeah. What would the value for Deshaun Watson be if the Browns were to try and trade him right oh, now? Lord. 
It wouldn't be a good. I'm going to tell you that because people don't want the contract and he's coming off of a shoulder injury that nobody's ever had before. Yeah, I, so don't, I don't think you would even get one first it, round. Yeah, it'd be very any, hard. I don't, think, I don't think there's a single team in the league that would trade for him. Oh, yeah. It's because of the contract. Or, all right, uh, yeah, they would. Sixth round pick. Atlanta would take him. I don't, I don't Atlanta know. would take him. Atlanta would take him. You think they would? Yes. For a fir- one first? Now, now New Orleans Mike and I were discussing this yesterday, and I say nobody would take him. Now, I was thinking about this. It's only three more guaranteed years at this point, right? Yes. So, it's not like you're getting into a five-year deal. Right. So, it's a three-year guaranteed deal. I think. So, I'm going to reverse what I said yesterday, Mike, that they would get nothing for him. But I don't think they would get any better than a fourth-round pick. I think they could get better than that. I definitely think they get better. I think they could get two seconds. I think you two probably, seconds. No, I, two think seconds. They, I think you get a third for them. Like two seconds. I think you get depending on who you're going. To. If you're going to Atlanta, they give up two seconds. I think if you're going to Carolina, you get two seconds. Well, Carolina ain't taking them now. They got. Yeah. Why would you do that if you're Atlanta? Because that's I mean, they're right a quarterback now, away. Right. But do we know he's like? I, we were talking about this yesterday, and I said at this point I'm fifty-fifty that he's going to get back to being. <laughs> A top quarterback. Uh, we all want it to happen, but <laughs> do you think there's many people around the league right now that are not Browns fans a, that I'm think a, he's going to turn it around? I'm no. slightly more no. than 50-50. I'm like, okay. I'm 65-35. 65-35. What's your feeling I, I, right If now? you were, if, 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 if Deshaun played exactly as he's played since he got here and he played for the Saints, would you think? Let's trade for him? No. no would you think, hey, there's a lot there. Like, no. This guy's going to turn it around. Done. No one would think they, that. I, I wonder the percentage of, forget fans, because of, of football coaches, executives, analysts, what percentage of them think that Deshaun Watson could still be a top 10 quarterback? Not even asking for top five, which probably, he was. Probably less than 50. You say if you ask who? If you ask NFL coaches, executives, you know, analysts, former players. If, like Desha- that. if Deshaun Watson can be a top, do you think? Do you think Deshaun Watson will still be? Will at some point in the next few years be a top ten quarterback in the league? What percentage of them would say? So yes? he got to do it one time in three years. No, that he would cons- consistently get oh, back to being yeah. a top ten. And remember, in Houston, I think he was top five. But I'm only saying top ten or even top twelve. I think he get to ten. He can't, but that's not the question. The question is, <laughs> do you believe he will? Would you bet your repu- would Me? You bet your, yes. Yes, I you would. Okay, you're well, but, but this is that's a loaded question because I need to know what else is being done at the receiver position well, yeah, and all okay. of those. Things. I need to know but, about other things. But um, the bottom line is I think it would be less than 50% would bet yes on him. I bet. And I'm well, around 50% right Deshaun now. Deshaun going to be top 10. We all hope so, Tyvis. He's gonna be top ten. But it's I'm been just four years. The 2020 season was the last time he was a top ten quarterback. That's a while now. This I, is his last year to do it. Well, he ain't played. All right, so we split. So Tyvis says two second round picks. Jason says a third round. pick. I think a third. I say a fourth round pick. What do you say, Mike? Quarterbacks always seem to get more than I think, so I would say a third. I think a third's probably right in the middle. All right. I mean, think about that. A third. You gave up three first and <laughs> more to get him, which I was totally in favor of, and hopefully it will still not turn out to be terrible. But I mean, look at I now this. It's just a, the contract. He's been a bust, but look at what the 49ers gave up to get Trey Lance, and then what what they got for him when they moved on. What did they get from Dallas? Like a, fifth? a fourth. Yeah, a fourth. Yeah. Right. So I mean, it, that, that, that's what I think. Different like it, contract, obviously, not nearly as much money. Right. Owed to obviously, Trey Watson to, to has had success in the league. Lance hasn't played. I think the but teams, Lance is not getting paid anything. I think more teams would take a chance on him than you think. You think? Yeah. I, I you agree think a second that. round pick. Tyvis is two second round picks. That. At, if the price is right, like you know, it, maybe at two twos they say no, but like New Orleans yeah. again, Tampa. Two, He's a quarterback two seconds in a reduced – Wait, what, how much you got left on this contract? Three years. So, yeah. like, money-wise, we probably don't know that. Huh? 180, right? One, Roughly. Three years, 180. What was it, 230? Well, he so only got paid six, $1 million the first so, year. So yeah, but it was – no, But it was all signing bonus. Yeah, yeah. Oh. He got, got so, it. that's – he got three years, $60 million a year. Roughly. Let's say 180. Let's oh, say he's 175. Let's say 170. He'd have to agree to a reduction to Three for 170. For a guy <laughs> <that's not sure laughs> nah, I, I, and I don't blame him. I wouldn't do it no, I wouldn't do it either. I wouldn't, <laughs> I wouldn't renegotiate either. Two seconds. I'm with you guys. Two. All right, let's go to the next one, guys. All right. 
Greg Newsom, who might be, of all the guys we talked about, the yes. most realistic guy who could be traded. What do you think Greg Newsom's value is if he were to hit the open market? This Mary Kay was on my podcast yesterday. I asked her about because I said, hey, if there's a guy you love early in the second round, would you consider, if it worked out, trading Greg Newsom in a pick to get up to the front of the second round or even late in the first round? I don't know if that's realistic, but, you know, if you would. And she said she didn't think Barry would do it because he loves his picks, especially his high picks. And she may be right about that. I would trade Greg Newsom in the right deal, guys. Uh, he's the one guy in this group that I would trade in the right deal because he's a good player, but he's their third corner and they got good depth. And I, you know, I think they could. And unlike at wide receiver, the Browns have shown that they have an ability to find good corners. How easy is it to replace a slot corner of his caliber? Well, the difference between him is because Cam Mitchell came in and played so well, mm -hmm. and he's already been a slot. See, G yep. knew got he got transferred to right. be in a slot, so yep. he was. It's still a learning thing. He isn't right. naturally a slot. So if Cam, but what the what yeah. where his value is is that you know Denzel's gonna go down. Okay. So you always got the confidence to say. I got the dude that I go out you, there and but, get us through these games. But are you? Would you? If if it could, if there was a guy early in the second round that you needed Greg Newsom to trade to get that guy, my thing wouldn't you do it? My and, thing, yes. But yeah. my thing with this is, who's going to trade for him? Why would you? Why would if I'm another team? Why would I want Greg? I'm if he's if he's been for the past two years been a slot corner. They're not gonna get paid. We that's we need a we need a number one lockdown court. That well, is what the number one thing a defense needs. A number one lockdown, and that's they. There may be teams that look at him and say he's a good number two corner. No, you don't think so. I I'm mean, yeah, sure. All right. So, what do you think his trade value is? At the most, a third. At the most, third or fourth. I see it. Mm. It's a slot. Like, ain't, ain't nobody – nickels don't get traded, like, for bigs. Yeah. Like, yeah, he, one of the best nickels in the league is uh, – your Hilton. Exactly. And yeah. he – what, he got signed to? He, he was a free agent. He okay, yeah. pay him a lot. Would you trade a second or third for, for Mike Hilton? I wouldn't because I think he's excellent. But the That's Bengals – point. But the Bengals don't have as good a starting corners as the Browns do either. So, Mike Hilton in that role is more important. Plus, he's a leader on the team. That's not really Greg Newsom's. What do you mean? He brings the energy. He does. He does bring good energy. <laughs> Jason, what do you think his trade value is? This is hard for me because <laughs> as a straight up, I tend to agree with Tyvis, I think. He, he to me, is more of a player-for-player player type trade. Yeah, I can see that. Or bundle him with the pick to move up to go into the first round. Right. That's what, yeah. Something like that. But if you're just trading him, I don't think the value is there. Going back to the Bill Simmons rankings, he's more valuable to us than you. Yeah. I don't know that the value is there. If you're just trading him strictly for a pick, I don't think that's good value on the Browns part because I tend to agree with Tyvis. I mean, listen, he played defensive back in the NFL. If he says he's worth a third, then I'm, yeah. I'm not going to disagree with that. I agree it's a third. I do think potentially you could trade your second-round pick at Newsom and maybe a late-round pick to move up to the, to the beginning of the second round. I, I think you could do that. So I think we're all around the same. All around the same yeah. area. That, that's that's clutch. Next up, Nick Chubb. Last year of his deal, sixteen or fifteen point eight million dollar cap hit. Would you guys think Nick Chubb would get in return if he were to hit the Six. open market? Yeah, on his current contract. Six. Yeah, yeah Ty, we, right. You know, coming off an injury, yeah. that big cap hit. Six. Six. Yeah, he has no. I love Nick. We all love Nick, but he has no trait. First of all, running backs, running backs yeah. for the most part, don't have – You don't even you know, know what you get. They got a lot from McCaffrey. I mean, the, the Panthers got a lot from McCaffrey. Different player. But he was injuries. younger, not coming off a serious injury. Better pass catcher out of the backfield. Yeah. Completely different Nick, style. Nick has way more value to, to the Browns yes. than anybody else. Yes. And that's Obviously, fair. they're not going to pay him $16 million. Nobody's – if Nick Chubb were a free agent, if they did cut him, I'm not sure how much money he'd get. Five, six million a year? He get a lot of suitors, I, but as yes, far as the high money, that's yeah, no. He, he, you don't know what you're getting. I think right. I think he he he's a construct where it's like we're gonna give you four or five million guaranteed, and, and here's incentives. incentives to get yeah. this in yes. yes. well. Yeah, yep. because you can't pay him guaranteed money. A running back at 28 who's coming off a knee injury and might not be ready for the start of the season. It's gonna be. That's gonna be. They're gonna have to figure it out. But don't you be, think? Doesn't Nick strike you as somebody that that 
knows the deal. How much is and well, nobody knows this. I was going to ask, how much has he made in his NFL career? Nick Chubb? Yeah, I want to like, say he's made about said. $35 million. I mean, he maybe? did get paid. He got a big Yeah, contract. I know he did, but I'm like, he's probably made, what'd you say, 30? $35 million? Yeah, I Something think it's like probably that. about right. $35 million. Give or take. Nick Chubb seems like a guy that's a pretty simple guy. Don't yeah, spend his I money. Mean, he ain't, 35 yeah, he, he good. He, he's simple, but he's not going to be taken advantage of. No, not he, simple like if, he's a dummy. If, no, I know. Yeah, if, yeah, I, I know. He, if, if they go renegotiate his deal, it's probably going to be incentives based. Yes. Right. Like I was saying yesterday, what if you offered him a four year contract, two years guaranteed at like six million dollar base both years with a bunch of incentives that can get you to 10, 12 million. Oh, he, each of those I years. don't think he would take it. You don't you think, think he would take that? I, he's made thirty four million dollars in his career. Oh, we were really that close. Nailed it. That's crazy. You don't think you would take that? Chance? I, I, Not four six, years. Just six million? It got to be more than why that. Would he, why would he that give you, you four years of control over him? Yeah. You cut. That's not a good deal for him. What's his What's his cap hit this year? 16 right now. Are you trying to cut 10 million on the whole thing? Well, he's not getting paid 16 million. That's just the cap hit. What's his actual money this year? Do you know? Ain't it 50? I thought it was like 15. I don't think it's, 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 it's 16. I'm, I'm almost positive. I thought that was 16. just his cap hit, not his salary. No, it's Nick just, Chubb's cap hit. Is fifteen point eight two five million. His base salary is eleven point seven seven five million. His prorated signing bonus is four million. So he's get. So he's already gotten the signing bonus. So he. Get, so, so it's his, eleven his million. His actual salary this it's year. Eleven million. Is eleven. Million. Eleven eight. Close to twelve million. And how much is any of that guaranteed? Uh, you probably don't say no. that. Okay, so if none of it's guaranteed, and he's supposed to make eleven point seven. If they offered him six guaranteed with a chance to make an extra six in incentives, I, so I, actually make even a little bit more if I was him, that are reasonable incentives, that basically if, if he's healthy and he plays, he'll reach If you said that to me, I would, I would come back and say eight, and you got a deal. I, I think you could find reasonable. Okay. <laughs> it sounds to me like you could find reasonable ground. But I, I wouldn't do four years if I'm him. No, I'm not. No, you know, I'm not giving you four years of control right. over me. Well, fine. I just thought it would benefit him. Well, well two years, two years, anything. eight. That's what I tell you. Two years, eight with a incentive. Two years, give me sixteen. Give me million. three million incentives base. Make it good too. Two years, sixteen million guaranteed. You can make up to twenty-two in incentives. Here's the thing. I don't know that the Browns were going to pick up that option when he was healthy. Right. So. Well, they're not going to. I not pick up. The, I don't know if they were going to yeah. keep that contract. No, as they were. They, they go Even renegotiate. Before, Jason, like, he's not getting a ton of money in free agency. That's what I'm saying. I don't yeah. know that you have to go that high. Maybe you don't him. have to go that high. Like you with, say, you tell him four. With I would give him the. I would do right by him and give him the opportunity to make it back in incentives. Yes, every dime. But, but it's got to be incentive based. But you know what he's gonna say? I'm gonna test the free agent market. And I, then you say, okay, we love you. Go ahead, and we'll be here. <laughs> I mean, who, suck who's, to lose him, but who's gonna who's gonna sign him. him? Nobody coming off two catastrophic, a second catastrophic. Since the Cincinnati movie. Bengals. No, maybe not. maybe somebody does. <laughs> no, nobody's guaranteeing him a lot of money. I just mean, can't see it. But all you know, it only point, takes one team. All at that point. If they, if you only offer it four, Cincinnati offering me six, why wouldn't I go to Cincinnati? You would, you would, and maybe at that and they point, look at it like they be like the Browns, Browns only Browns. offered you four, we give you six. Yeah, yeah. And, and then you be like, okay, and, cool. And, uh, this is why negotiations can get ugly, <laughs> and and personal and feelings get hurt because if you're in, and and we're making all this up, right? Oh yeah, but, yeah, yeah. But I mean, you, nah, they definitely gonna do right, Bob. They, they but you not know gonna. how negotiations go. If they if they do come and say you know four or five million, and he can get six or seven. Why would he go back and give them the opportunity to match? He's going right. to say, screw you. And yeah. So that's why this is, this is hard. It's, it's, it's a hard. weird thing. The idea of Nick Chubb in another uniform is. Isn't all, that what it's, happened it's, to Albert Bell? No. He, Bell. He, said he, he said that he got a contract and told the Indians that they're about to offer me this much. And, and, they, didn't I, believe and they didn't believe him. <laughs> or maybe they just didn't want to offer him that much money. Who yeah. Knows? Yeah. That was probably the truth. We got so, three more. Yeah. Next up, what about David and Joku? Coming off his best career season, still, he's not old, but he's not young. Kind of in that middle prime of his career area. What's his Joker has hit the open market. What's his contract? He get? He, he, he like, he getting like eight million a year. Is he like crazy. the he like the fourth or fifth? I mean, pay highest pay tight end, right? He listen. He's a good player. He had a very good year. 
Third. I don't think he'd get a lot in a trade. Third. I, I think you're right. I was right. going to say second. You think third? I think third. I'm you can push the second. You can, you can push the second. If, I got to know what his money is. That, that's the... Now, it also depends. Like, if you're a good team that just needs a tight end and you have a late second round pick, yeah, I could see that. But some team in the top 10 of the second round that's a not a good team, they're I'm not trying, trading that for I'm trying to think of a. I'm trying to think of a team. Unless you have an extra pick. Who got a good quarterback? I mean, the Bengals don't have a tight end, but obviously the Browns wouldn't trade him to the Bengals. No, that's not happening. The Chiefs Uh, replacement for Kelsey? needs a tight end. Buffalo's got a young tight end. Obviously, Kansas City's got a... Let's look at the NFC. Travis Kelsey retires, goes to Kansas City. What about Green Bay? Who does Green Bay they have? They drafted the two young guys. If you're the Browns, why would you trade him to Kansas City? I'm, I'm just, I'm just mentioning I'm looking at the team. NFC. <laughs> yeah. Dallas has got a young guy they like. They Green got Bay's Jake got Ferguson. young guys they like. Detroit obviously has an awesome young guy. Yeah, they do. San Francisco's got Kittle. He's getting old, but... Seattle? Um, Pair him up with Geno. They had no offense this year. Yeah, I mean, like if you're Seattle, are you giving up? I take a, a That's third. That's a middle. I don't think they're giving up the forty something pick in the draft for the third. Joker. Third. But if but I'm you, Seattle, I give up a third. Yeah, yeah. third, third. Like, like I said, I can, I can, you can swing a second, maybe yeah. a late. If it was yeah. a team late, late second, late. yeah. But most of the good teams have a good tight end, except yeah. for the Bengals are the one team that stands out, and then I trade them to the Bengals. Let me look right. Uh. Quick. Quick. I'm thinking, who's another decent team in the NFC? I'm, Philadelphia's got Goddard. Who does the Saints, you go to who's New the Saints tight end? Taysom who, Hill. Who is Miami's tight end? They don't need a tight end. They don't have anybody. But <laughs> they oh, don't the, play Buc- the, the Buccaneers, they don't really have a tight end, do they? They don't. Kate Odden. Yeah, he's Odden. all right. I don't, I don't think he's anything with anything. But. Oh, we're going to put the last two yeah. into one. The Chargers we'll because be they're the both team. DBs. Denzel Ward. Martin Emerson Jr. Is there any question on who would get a bigger return? There is because Con- Denzel's better, but he's injury prone I still and he's got a big contract. The yeah. contract is the reason why. But Denzel is still. But Denzel no, he is. Had, he had a great year. Denzel's Den- a number. He's I, I, a for sure listen, number one thing. Martin. Yeah. Everybody here loves Martin Emerson, and he gets a lot of hype amongst Cleveland fans. But around the league, Denzel Ward is considered a different class yes. than Martin Emerson. Athletically, he's yes. unbelievable. I, so, I told you that. But he's got a huge contract, and you know he's going to miss a couple games each year. I still think he gets your he get the most. He get the most I return. think you get a first-round pick. Yeah. I think you get a first-rounder for Denzel. Denzel's what, 27, 28? 27, 28? How old is Denzel? Probably younger than that. Miles is 28. Denzel's probably 26. Six, seven. Miles is 26, turns 27 in April. No, so it'll be 20, 27. Denzel, you mean? What did I say? You said, you said Miles. Oh, no. Denzel's 26, excuse me. Turns yeah. 27 in April of this year. Oh, yeah. Year. yeah or this yeah. year. April of yeah. this year. Right. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so he's 20. He'll be 27. He'll be 27 for football season next year. All right, so I love, I love uh, Martin, but Martin, I, Emerson, Martin still got some things. Good player. He got some things he got to work on. contract. Yeah. I think you'd get a second-round pick for Emerson. Probably. You probably would. Yeah. You'd get more for Emerson than you would for Njoku, I think. Yes. Corners, because corners hold more value. Yeah. You get you a number one corner, you can. So, so we agree. First pick, first rounder for Ward, second rounder for Emerson. Yep. Awesome. But I wouldn't trade either of them. I would, you know, you shouldn't. No. If you got a corner, if you yeah. got a lockdown corner, you never trade right. them. Go ahead, Mike. Also, oh, we'll move on, but after, that was, that was interesting, by the way, and I think. The best conversations were the Njoku one was interesting. Deshaun. Obviously, Deshaun was a fast. It's just, it's just interesting to think, like. You look at a guy, but when you look at it from a trade value perspective, you may love a guy, but like Chubb, the return for Chubb is nowhere near how valuable he right. is to him, which is it's why position, age, yeah. and injury. Well, I and like I thought it just tied back to the Simmons stuff too. So I'm glad we we're able to kind of the put those Chubb together. The Chubb thing would have been context. different had he rushed for 5, 1,500 yards. Oh like, yeah, sure. Like, but it's right. He he got hurt. He's, he's injured. He's old for That's older what, for a running back. If Deshaun was a top, it was performing like a top ten, it'd be different for him of too. Of course, yeah. of course, yeah. And well, that's actually going to lead us right into our next game. We're going to play a little round of. I know. I think. I doubt. After oh, a yeah. quick word from Fanduel, you can get buckets with your first bet on Fanduel right now, America's number one sports book. Because at the moment, new customers get one hundred and fifty dollars in bonus bets with any winning five dollar bet. That's one hundred and fifty bucks if your team wins. You can bet on all your favorite NBA players and teams with quick bets, live same game parlays, exclusive props, and so much more. Just visit Fanduel.com/ucss and shoot your shot. FanDuel, an official sportsbook partner of the NFL, the NBA, and the Ultimate Cleveland Sports Show. 